Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about services at component level. So in my previous videos, we have learned about services at module level and services at a root level. And in this video, we will focus when the services are in component level, how they behave and how we can transfer the data, whether we can able to transfer the data or not. So that we will see in this services at a component level. So now let me quickly jump into Visual Studio code and create some set of routes for us and based on that routing how this data sharing happens. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio code. Here I'll create two components. One is ng generate component and the component name is first and use skip hyphen test files. Hit enter. Now it created a first component and now let me use ng generate component and the component name is second component and let me use skip hyphen tests and both are registered in our app module. Now let me create one service for us. So let me create ng generate service and the service name is something like let me use a sample service and I'm just skipping the test files. So I have created first component, I have created second component, I have created a service called as sample service. Now let me go into our routing file app hyphen routing and inside this routing file let me configure our routes. So let me use a default path and the path is empty. So let me redirect this guy to our first path and the path match should always be full. So now let me use one more object where the path is something like first path and the component is first component so I'm using a first component for this let me use one more path over here path second path and the component is second component so I have created two routes first and second so let me go to the browser now it went to first works and if I use something like second it goes to the second works now let me go into our service so let me go into our sample service and here let me use something like message and this message is a string here I just want to assign some value like service value and save this now let me go here and just use it as a public I'll access this message directly now let me go into our first component dot ts and let me inject that service so for that injection i can use something like sample service variable and this variable is of type sample service and i can use something like an inject method so let me get that inject method and pass our sample service to this so i got this sample service and let me get the message from the sample service message is equal to this dot sample service dot message so I'm getting this message and let me showcase this in my first dot HTML. Let me go here and let me use this message and let me use something like this paragraph and this is my first component message. Save this and let me do the same stuff for second component. But before doing that, we need to get the default value over here. Let me go to the browser and you are able to see that value in our first component that is service value it's absolutely fine now let me go into our second component dot ts and let me inject the same stuff let me copy this same thing and put it over here now let me import all these values let me copy this message go into our html and add a paragraph called as second component and our message save this now this is second component let me go here and check our second component so both are showing the service value till now it's fine and it is working as expected now let me go into our app dot component dot html and let me create a div and inside this div let me create an anchor tag which should have a router link and I don't want to use any active part over here. My anchor tag should point to first router. So let me use first and let me give a space for this in BSP and copy the same anchor tag 
and put it over here let me use this as second and this one is second component and save this go here now you got first and second let me click on first it went to first let me click on second it went to second that's absolutely fine and now the service whatever we are using it is at global level if you go to the code and check service and this service is registered at a global level that means app level so let me remove this and save this go back now you are seeing one problem that should be r3 injector error that means we have a sample service but that is not provided in any of our components so that's why it is throwing our error it is not registered at a module it is not registered at the root level so now we have to register this independently for example we learned about creating a service with a new keyword in the same fashion instead of passing all the dependencies to that service we can inject this particular service at a component level inside the component decorator let me go into first component and here you have selector template url style url in the same way you have something called as providers so what these providers will do is it will take sample service and whenever this component loads it always try to create one particular instance and the scope of instance is until this component exists if this component moves away or calls ng destroy then this particular service will get destroyed so that's why we are using this providers so providers will be an independent component level here whenever we call a component then immediately it will create the service whenever we are moving out of the component then it will be removing that particular service instance so let me go into second and here also we are putting this providers now what i'll do is just i'll go here and in my component let me use a button to update this so update message and i want to update the message let me use click event and call update message this is my method so let me copy this method and go to your ts file let me create that method update message and this dot sample service dot message is equal to i just want to use something like math dot random and i want to update this message dot to string or we can create a particular method for this so that we can understand whether it is going into the service or not so let me go into sample service and create a method something like set message and i'll just use something like a string type and let me use something like void over here because we are setting the message so let me use something like public and input over here which is of type string now this dot message is equal to input so let me use input in this way so let me copy this set message and i'll use this method by using our sample service dot set message and i'll pass some map dot random dot dot to string so now it will update it but whether it is updating or not let's see over here console dot log of on update so let me save this and let me print this input value so i am updating that value that value will not be affected in your second component so let me go here and i clicked on this so if you see here on update and you are getting this value but that is not updating in your ui because this particular value has been updated whenever i load the application but this is not getting updated we'll talk about this whenever we are talking about observables behavioral subject all the different types of observables and how to communicate directly without any calling or reloading of the application we will talk about that but for now you can see here it has been updated in a service and the same service i am using in the second component but we have registered that component in our second component so let me click here so if you see here still you are seeing a service value let me go here you will see the service value but this got updated so whenever your service value gets updated that should be updated so in your components as well but that requires some set of observables to listen them but here i just want to give a clear understanding that 
whenever you are moving from one component to another component and if your services are registered in a individual component then they will be creating a new instance for each and every component so here when i go to second my first in components service instance will be destroyed when i go back to the first it will create and when i come out of it it will destroy so that's how the component instance and the scope of a service will work in our providers at component decorator level so that's about using a provider in your component and when to use this whenever you have a logic that is an independent logic which is not shareable and you can just call that data and update the data in your ui in that cases you can use providers at a component level whenever you need a sharing of the component for sure you need a modular approach where you can share between them and the second case is something like whenever you want to reuse them you can use it and in this case it is mainly used for logical reusability not for sharing of the data so that's how you can use this services at a component level in the upcoming video we will see how and what are observables how to use that observables in our application and then we will continue with our http services and how to inject them how to use them in our code so that we will learn in the upcoming videos hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you